Greetings, greetings. Hope things are well with you today. Um, we're going to look at Matthew chapter 7. And we're going to look at verses 7 and 8. Father, we pray that you will bless your word and help us to understand it in Jesus' name. It says, ask, and this is Jesus speaking, by the way. Ask, and it shall be given you. Seek, and ye shall find. Knock, and it shall be opened unto you. For every one that asketh receiveth, and he that seeketh findeth, and to him that knocketh it shall be opened. So before Jesus even encourages us to ask and to seek and to knock, he talked a little bit about people who are judgmental. And judgmental to the point where it's not about, you know, trying to help someone on their Christian journey, but looking down on people. And um, he basically called them hypocrites because I'm looking at what you're doing and I'm talking about the negativity that you're doing, but I have not acknowledged what I'm doing and my negativity. And so that's where it started out in chapter 7. But now when we get here to verse 7 in that chapter, God is encouraging us to pray, to come to him, to ask. Because God is a God of love. God wants us to be knowledgeable. He wants us to be blessed. He wants us to be healthy. He wants us to prosper he wants the best for us. And because he has everything, it's best that we go to him. Now, in order for us to go to him, right, we have to first know who he is. Know that he is God. He is creator. He has everything. And that he wants the best for us. He's not a God that joys and is happy when we fall, when we make wrong decisions, when things go bad for us. No, he's not that type of God. He's not the type of God that, that loves to punish and things like that. No. So he's saying, come, ask me. I'm willing to give you all that you need to get through today and tomorrow and get through to eternity. So ask. I'm willing to give you. He said, seek seek. What are we seeking? We look for a lot of different things, you know, but he is encouraging us to seek out the things in his word because his word is life. His word is love. His word is peace. His word is wisdom and understanding. His word is patience. You know, those are the things that God wants us to seek. Oftentimes we get distracted and we seek out ways to, to make money. We seek out how to gain more possession. We seek things that really are not going to benefit us for eternity. So he's, he's, he's encouraging us to seek the things that will lead you to eternal life. Seek my joy. Seek my peace. Seek my love, seek my obedience, seek my gentleness, my goodness, my kindness, my compassion. Seek my empathy, seek those things, ask for them, I'll give them to you. You'll find them and you'll get them. And then finally, it says knock, knock and it shall be opened. Right? Knock. And when I hear knock, I don't know. <laughs> when I'm reading the scripture and I hear the knocking, I always go to Revelation. And I think it's in chapter 3 where Jesus is knocking on our, our hearts, knocking on our minds. Because he's like, listen, <laughs> please let me in. Please let me in. Let me come into your heart and mind. Because you see, when we let Jesus in, when he's in our hearts and minds, 
that's where we're able to experience the love of God, the joy that's God, the peace that's God's. That's when even when we are facing difficulties and hardship, when the storm is raging, right? With Jesus in our ship, on our ship, the storm can't have full control. When Jesus was on the boat and the storm, crazy storm was happening, he was resting. He was just laying down having a nice nap, having a nice sleep. You know why Jesus was able to do that? Because he knew the Father was with him, and he trusted his Father, and he knew nothing was going to happen to him. It's the same way we ought to trust Jesus and know that when we allow him in our hearts and minds, when we allow him to be Lord of our lives, the one that's in control, no matter what storm we're in, no matter what situation we're in, We could laugh, we could have peace, we could have joy. And it does get difficult. And that's why it's so important for us to pray. Pray for the peace. Pray for our, you know, (laughs) those ways that we have that are unlike Christ. Pray because the Holy Spirit is here. He's willing and able to help And so we just need to to spend time with God in his word. We need to to study the word more and pray and all these wonderful things. So my encouragement for you today is that you trust God. Get to know him and love him. Trust him, obey him. Because when we know God and so forth, we're going to act according to his will. We're not going to ask things that will not glorify God and help others. We're going to ask to be used to be blessings to others as well. We're going to ask to have attitudes that are pleasing in his sight. And so let us pray, most kind and compassionate Father. Thank you so much for your love, for waking us up. Thank you for your word and thank you for your encouragement to ask and to seek and to knock, knowing that you will provide all that we need. Continue to guide us and bless us. May your will be done, is my prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. And please remember to get moving today, at least 30 minutes. We have to keep these wonderful bodies, machines moving.